first of the two Moors Millions races here at Ferry House. This one is over the slightly shorter distance of three miles and five furlongs. So a handicap chase here for these staying horses looking to qualify for the Moor Millions finals later in the season. So it's for horses with a maximum rating of 140. We've got Carrie Solo Limerick, the favourite for Davy Lad, Maritza, for Thomas Rogers, Caring Emma, Craig Allen, Fearless Amy, already a qualifier from last week for Ryan Tamasebi, Starburst Few for John Morgan, Put the Kettle on David Hooley, Eyes of the World, Leon Van Rensburg, Panzer for Martin Leadham, Robin Knights, Darren Thompson, Safinaz Josie for Davy Ladd, Lord Boot for Jim Murray, Shella Citron for Darren Thompson, Labanese Craig Beckwith, No More Heaven Paul Rhodes, Orgerman Prejudice James Shea, Eager and Keen Graham Clutterbuck, and Impel Like for Alex Cherry. And the tapes are up. They're off and running here. So six, 17 runners we've got here for this Moors Millions uh, here at Fairy House. I believe it's the top four or five or six qualify here for the finals. So a really slow pace being set early on, but the ground is... Uh, already got us on the soft side with the rain continuing to fall so a lot of these horses are going to need all of their energy for the end of the race and they're not going to go off too quick too soon a very modest pace being set but being set by Augerman Prejudice and Eager and Keen and Graham Clutterbuck's familiar red, white and green silks over towards the rail as they come to the next open ditch and all of them jumped that safely one who made us oh no we have lost put the kettle on david hooley's put the kettle on uh, got that all wrong uh, slightly out, out of out of camera shot mine but yeah we have lost put the kettle on another one that made a slight mistake i believe was robin knights uh, racing over towards the rail as they come over the next all of them jumped that safely although eyes of the world wasn't particularly quick over it and has had to be ridden along for quite a few strides off the back of that fence and the whip's already out on leon van rensburg's horse at the back of the field um, but coming back onto the bridle well it's on and off the bridle to be honest as they swing right-handed and start to come to this next fence the leaders get over it well good jump in third place from fearless amy star burst fewer in the sky blue silks with the yellow hat over towards the rail racing out wider in the track we've got caring emma in the red with the white sash and the yellow hat as they all go over the next there was a mistake towards the rear of the field by the gray horse carry solo limerick didn't get high over that at all and clouted the top of the fence and was quite awkward on landing but settle back into this pretty well and uh, not being ridden along or showing any kind of distress signals as a result of the mistake and as they come over the next again Car Carousel or Limerick wasn't particularly fluent over that one and eyes of the world is already a good 25 to 30 lengths off this leader at the very rear of the field and impel like is another one that we've lost and has unseated the rider for Alex Cherry so as we come to the next flight, it's still Augerman Prejudice in the lead as they all get over that one safely. A good jump at the rear of the field from No More Heaven. Uh, that one allowed that one to catch up a couple of lengths uh, onto other horses towards the rear of that bunched pack. Uh, in the middle of this field, Carasolo, Limerick, Labanese, Panzer for Martin Leadham also at the rear of that group bunch in there. And you can still see just at the back of your shot there, Eyes of the World in the dark blue silks and the yellow hat is your back marker. So they come to the next fence, and they're all over that one safely. Panza was a touch slow at the back uh, for my co-commentator Martin Leadham in those dark maroon silks with the yellow star and the yellow hat. Um, but no serious mistakes being made at that last fence as they quickly come to the next and again all of them over it safely a much better jump from eyes of the world and panzer and carrying emma towards the rear of the field but going back to the front it's augerman prejudice now who's kicked on a little bit from eager and keen to open up a length and a half to two lengths advantage same distance back then to lord butte in third for jim murray starbust fio is tracking that one quite closely and then we've got robin knight's fearless amy and shayla citron as they come to the next flight, all over that one safely and some pretty good jumps in there. So we've got Fearless Amy's jumping pretty well so far in the middle of the pack. I certainly can't say that for too many runners from my stable so far in this week four. It's been some really poor rounds of jumping and there you go. I've cursed my own horse there, got really high over that. Caring Emma didn't put in a particularly good jump either and has been ridden along uh, for a few strides off the back of that fence. So they're coming past the stands of what will be the winning post in a circuit's time but still a good 14 and a half furlongs here to go as we get a view from the stands the rain pouring down the gray clouds up above here at fairy house 
but the spectators have been treated to two absolute classic races uh, with the two grade one hurdle races that have preceded this one and they're really looking forward to see how these two two moors millions uh, qualifiers unfold as well so they come to the next all over that one safely poor jump towards the rear of the field by Labanese hit that one really hard and that one's moved back to join Eyes of the World and Caring Emma right at the rear of the field but those two horses uh, Caring Emma and Eyes of the World for two of the powerful National Hunt stables uh, traveling strongly and just being ridden very patiently as we've lost one there we've lost another one Lord Butte took off far too early and crashed out on landing and the loose horse is there right in front of a packed group of Shayla Citron Fearless Amy although that one's racing wider so really it's right in front of Robin Knight's Shayla Citron uh, Starbur uh, Starburst Few and Satanaz Josie as they get over that next flight there and Eager and Keen has moved up to rejoin Orgaman Prejudice right at the front of the field Carasolo Limerick who'd been racing and towards the rear of the field has progressed, made its way through the pack and is now just a couple of lengths off that leading pair. A couple of lengths back then to... Oh, we've lost another one. Fearless Amy is gone. Fearless Amy is gone. And like many of my horses this week, uh, the horses unseated the rider and hit the deck and no more than halfway through a race. So they all get over the next. A bad mistake there made by Robin Knights and that's going to relegate that one towards the rear of the field. I'll be sending all mine to jump in school through the week, folks. You can be sure of that. So many of them hitting the deck. But I must admit I was here for the prize money. Feel the same. He's already qualified for the Moors Millions after last week's performance. So another slow jump at the rear of the field there by Robin Knights. And Eyes of the World is now just starting to get to work. Wants to make a little bit more progress as we come towards the final seven furlongs. Camera just pans out to just show the distance there from start to finish. But lots of these horses still travelling pretty powerfully. Orgerman Prejudice really attacks that fence moves on from eager and keen there's about five to six lengths gap now to carisolo limerick but that one in starburst fuel just going to try and start making their way forward and closing the gap sheila citron still being ridden very patiently the jockey sitting motionless on that one and is now just going to start hitting the go button and try to make some progress eyes of the world is catching the eye it was last throughout but is now starting to make a move for leon van rensburg as they come to the next fence the leader gets over it really well uh, eager and keen wasn't uh, clever over that fence made a bad mistake Starburst Fuel jumped really well and that allowed it to come up and put a lot of pressure on Orgerman Prejudice and has now passed it as we go into the final four furlongs and come to that next flight the leader's over it well bad mistake from Carasolo Limerick uh, Safanas Josie in the same silks with the brown horse has now passed that one Eyes of the World is still staying on on the outside for Leon Van Rensburg uh, Caring Emma Panzer no more Heaven Robin Knights and Maritza the back markers they really need to start sprouting wings because Starburst Fuel is set off for home and has opened up a few lengths gap but eyes of the world is now into second and staying on really well for the champion trainer as they come over the next flight poor jump from the champion tra trainer's horse and safanas josie passed it but eyes of the world now staying back on into second but starburst fuel is the one they've all got to catch starburst fuel lengthening the lead here extending the lead gets over that fence really well safanas josie eyes of the world orgerman prejudice all staying on but they've left far too much to do as this leader goes further and further clear it's Starburst Fuel that's going to win this race quite cosily for John Morgan in the end Starburst Fuel has met, turned this into an absolute procession here I'll have to excuse me folks there's some technical difficulties there with the uh, shot but Starburst Fuel as I mentioned turned this into a procession coasted uh, home to the line a long way clear I just want to get the final places for you Panzer stayed on really well for Martin Leadham uh, at a big price there and will qualify for the Moors Million. Shella Citron, who was travelling strongly, but uh, didn't quite ever make, make any serious challenge to the leader, is in third for Darren Thompson. Orgerman Prejudice, a long-time uh, pace setter, st uh, st stays on for fourth for James Shea, and fifth was Eyes of the World for Leon Van Rensburg. But the winner of the Moors Million stays leg four, Starburst Fuel, a comfortable eight-and-a-quarter-length winner for John Morgan.